Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be looking in how you can install Red M for Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, for PC obviously. And if you have any questions with this, please um, either put them in the comments or go contact the Citizen FX Collective people. They're the ones who make 5M, they also make Red M, and it's just an overall cool uh, community. So if you need help, go discuss it on their forums or you can leave. I can answer small questions about it down in the comments from what I know, but the best place to get support is the forums. Anyway, so all you have to do is download. You have this page here. There's no like big download button, but uh, the launching now, the now button is actually a download button. So you just have to click now and it will download. Um, what I recommend doing for this is to make a folder on your desktop and name it like Red M Launcher or like Red M, just Red M or something. It's up to you what you name your folder on your desktop, but that doesn't really matter. So just go ahead and drag this exe into that new folder. You don't need this download anymore. You're actually not going to need that at all anymore. And we're all we're going to do is click this exe file. Now, if there's a warning that says Windows protected your PC, just click more info and run anyway. I've used this multiple times and 5M is completely safe. I don't think they uh, registered it with Windows or whatever to get rid of that message. But you can see first time I open it up, it's going to go ahead and update Red M. This may take a few moments depending on your internet. This is not the longest part of the process. The longest part of the process is caching your game cache and I'll explain what that does in a moment when we get to that step. But right now it's just going to go ahead and update and you can see it's going to ask me to select the folder containing the Red Dead Redemption 2 EXE. So this is wherever you've installed it. For me it's in uh, my Passport 1 and then in Rockstar Rock Red Dead Redemption 2 and you can see it's in here. So my folder is Red Dead Redemption 2 inside my Rockstar folder. And then you can see it's verifying game content. This may take some time. Please note, this only works if you own the game. It will not work if you pirated the game or something because it, it's built in to detect that. So don't pirate the game. Buy Red Dead Redemption 2 and you can use Red M for free. That's how it takes. Just buy the game. So this is now checking all of those game files inside of that folder. And you can see if I go into the Red M launcher, there's a new, um, or my folder that we created, there's a new application data, just like 5M has. And you can see there's, there's a bunch of files inside of here. You don't want to mess with any of those. You're just going to keep your Red M exe file. And this may take some time. So we're just going to talk about what Red M is versus 5M while we wait. So Red M is kind of 5M for Red Dead Redemption 2. It doesn't have that many resources or trainers. All trainers are server side from what I understand so far. And it is um, it is updated, but it's not updated as often as 5M is. So please keep that in mind when you're um, using it and be noting there are active servers, but there's not that many active servers. So it says uh, 5M needs to update, or Red M needs to update your game cache. It will copy 6.9 uh, from your local disk into the new thing and download uh, 3 gigabytes from the internet and just press yes to this um, and if it asks you for information just allow access because it actually has to copy files over and then you can see it is now updating so this will take some time please note just leave it on it may take 20 to 30 minutes depending on your internet um, and it will take some time so just leave it on and eventually it will get done um, you don't have to really worry about it but overall it is a quite simple process to get installed after this we'll go ahead and launch it and see what happens so I'm gonna leave this on and we'll see what happens in a few minutes when it's downloaded so while this is just speeding up here I just wanted to say make sure you have the Rockstar launcher open when you run it for the first time otherwise you'll run into an error I skipped over the part where I figured out that but just make sure you have it open for your first time let's hop into starting it with the exe file now that it's downloaded we're going to go ahead and launch Red M and we're going to get in there. So you can see starting Red M and now it has not sent that error anymore and we're actually going to go in and check it out. So here we go. Hopefully this works. I haven't done this in a little while. I installed it a while ago and then ignore all these popping up in the bottom right hand corner. Let's go ahead and exit out of those. You don't need them. Um, 5M or Red M. I keep saying 5M but Red M will launch momentarily and we'll be in and ready to go. So I'll see you in a moment. So you can see by default, it is the default GTA background for some reason. Don't know why they did that. Just go ahead and press start. And then you can see it is loading in and welcome to Red M. You are running a plea release build, Pilgrim. Um, then you just wait, go ahead and press play. And you can see you have your default server list and you can join any of the servers you want. Uh, there's quite a few servers. Most of them don't really have that many players, but you can just go ahead and join one of the top ones and you're good to go and you'll be in here ready to go. There's some cool like role play servers in there. There's some uh, cool like just random role play and city servers and everything. So keep working on it and um, it, you should have fun with it and it should go well. Obviously there's a change log and stuff over here. Uh, there's also settings uh, so you can set your player name and interface if you want the local host menu and stuff. So it's kind of like 5M is, 
but just for Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyway, hopefully this did help you out, and hopefully you can join servers and have fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.